sitting here trying to figure out some plans waiting for them to tell me that they're ready to load me here I'm loading up a, a shipment of uh, steel pipe going back to Staunton Mass um, out of Chicago area here pretty interesting getting over here everywhere's a damn low bridge every time you turn the corner so when I was doing my walk around the truck this morning I um, really decided that I'm going to stretch the frame on my truck here it's uh, I, I like how when I get to my headache rack that there's room between the the tires and wheels that I can stand there on the one side that the um, quarter fender broke off of so I want to go through and and um, let me let me go outside I'll show you what I'm talking about or in line with a bunch of trucks here so None of them are running, so. All right. So, you know, there's there's easy way. You can uh, uh, just cut the frame right here and then uh, take a new section of frame. And then you got a weld on this side and that side. So, what I'm thinking of doing is buying another section of frame off of another truck that's, that's this long. I don't know if that explains anything, but it's this long, or actually a little bit longer, probably out to here, probably out to here, because what that would do is I could re-bolt up all of my factory suspension, all my factory components, put the fifth wheel back on there, and then take the new section of frame rail from here and just mount it back here. So then you just put a C on the inside of the frame and um, you only have one, one weld to do on each side. As far as the frame goes, then you gotta weld the insert to the, to the other part. But that, that seems to be the, the, the easiest and, and best way, if you ask me, because then I, see, I want to stretch it two feet because because coming in here, see, you, you come in here to try to get to the to the to the headache rack, and it's it's so small. There's there's no room in here, and the other side has a lot of room because my my fender broke off when I put chains on one day. But I have a set of of. Uh, uh, double hump fenders they're fiberglass they go they go over one and then over another when they're separate so what I want to do is they're probably gonna come out to here but I would still have the the uh, still have some of the room over there that I need more room and then what I'm gonna do here real quick I wouldn't stretch the frame for like another probably next year I think I'm gonna do it right in my driveway because what any man could do I could do you know cutting and welding so I, I can do that right in theory sounds good in theory but what I do have to do is take this this chain hanger off can't use it anymore in my step how good does that step look like? Look like it works. So, I do have that stuff up the back there. I need to clean them brackets up, but I use this pole here for for uh, putting up my V guards and stuff. And you got to have a broom, even with a flatbed, and you can sweep the flatbed off. But I like my headache rack, kind of where it is. There's not really a lot more room to put it any closer. I don't really want to put it any closer. So, um, I have a Peterbilt step that would go right here. So what I'd have to do is take these bolts loose and I'd want to put a plate right here. 
plate right here that's bolted to this and then weld the, the bracket to it. And I could do the same thing over here because I would take that bracket out from the step and put a plate and then be able to weld it right there. So, you know, then I don't have to drill holes in the side of the frame. But it would put my step, I wouldn't get to use much of it. But it's still an open step, like a, like a kind of, not really like on this guy's truck here, but it is, it is a step like that, see, see the door? Um, so it, it would add more storage to the truck. I'm happy that it's still clean. Clean and shiny. A lot of work keeping this truck clean and shiny. That's my newest trim I got there on the sleeper. But I want to put one, there's one that goes across the top just under that line right up there. Can't really point it out that well. That line right there. There's one that goes up there, and then there's one that goes around like a C, like a moon kinda, right around the uh, top window up there. So, that's some more trim I'd wanna put on it. I put this trim on here. I put a clear lens and the stainless around here. I put this on, this is just 3M tape. This is part of thinking outside the box here. This has been on here for, uh, two years probably and I think what the problem was but see I did the same stuff over here but I didn't put like any kind of sealant on the ends because you you cut it so I think if I sealed that end up it would uh, it would last longer so but really all I gotta do is peel this off here and put new on it's only like 15 bucks a roll but it, it looks really nice on there and I, I do want to paint my uh, front bumper again. I'm probably going to paint it black. The front bumper and the side. Because there's, there's just too much blue. It's a beautiful color, but too much of anything is still too much. So, that's some stuff I got to get done here in the truck. I got to um, put the, um, I got to get that step off in the in the chain rack off. And then work on getting my new step mounted on there. I got to get that done. And the front bumper does re need repainted. I don't know if just painting it black would 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 be wrong for the sides there. But I don't know. I'm going to try some different product, different things. Uh, a lot of stuff I want to do this this summer. I got a. Um, I want to. I'd like to put a hardwood floor here in this truck. It um. It's got a. Uh, vinyl floor now and I hate it I hate vinyl floor and I hate carpet so I got to find the right product and I get uh, really all I got to do is make sure that there's no wiring or any humps or anything that I really got to worry about in the floor but I'm pretty sure from the homework I've done so far it's just a um, just like fiberglass uh, covered plywood basically I believe and um, I think I want to find a really nice hardwood floor to put in here and then just put my regular floor mats that I usually put in and then I want to buy new seats these these seat covers are, are nice but they still don't they don't fit the right way I'd like to and they're kind of uncomfortable I spend a lot of time in this truck you know I spend 10 hours a day driving every day you know 50 60 hours a week driving and um, want something comfortable so for the inside I want to put new seats in two new leather seats I want to put um, hardwood floor and then my dash panels here I don't know how well you can see them um, this part right here and this part right here I have a um, 
a vinyl wrap for it. There's my TV rack where my hats are. But my TV cracked. The backing of it did. So I have to fix the back of the TV. And, and then I get to mount it again. 32 inch TV I get in my truck and DVD player behind the microwave. But I have, that's my microwave right there. Yeah, that's my microwave. And then the DVD player's right on top of it. But the DVD player keeps um, falling down back. Down, down back. Like that. Keeps falling down back, even though I have it strapped in there. So I think I'm going to put it on with some Velcro and the strap. So that way it don't go nowhere. Uh, thinking of Velcro. I think I have some right now. I think that's what I'm going to go do right now is Velcro my DVD player down so it quits jumping around. And um, just wanted to make a quick video. <sighs> a lot of things coming. A lot of, lot of plans for this uh, YouTube channel. I really want to put a lot, of, a lot of hard work into creating some good content, good stuff that people want to watch. Um, I'm working on getting a camera. Uh, I want to get a GoPro 7. And then there's uh, some stuff uh, my buddy Denny was telling me about it. Um, a mount with a good, uh, good uh, microphone and stuff on it. Oh, wait a minute. good microphone. So you hold it and you, you can talk and just kind of cool. So um, I'm gonna check into that. But this uh, didn't didn't get paperwork turned in this week because of the breakdown from last week. So. Um, I got a mortgage and a pickup payment due next Monday, then a semi-truck payment the following Monday, and um, then uh, then I'm probably going to be able to try to start working on some uh, um, equipment. I want to get some. I want to do some editing. Um, I want to make some really cool videos. I want to put a lot into this channel. I want this to be my my. Uh, hobby um, I don't know about hobby but uh, I don't know what word you call it what do, what do you call something you want to do that's gonna be fun um, it's gonna make uh, it's I, I, I wanna I don't know how to explain it I don't know how to say what I want to say so I guess I'm just gonna keep talking until it comes out I want the channel to help not only just get car stuff done that that's not the only thing I want to pull together families friends um, my daughter my son you know my wife we do a lot of stuff together this summer last summer my, my daughters helped me uh, polish the truck the, the wheels and stuff. I go through with the buffer, the, the really hard stuff, and then she come through and, and does it by hand. Um, I love having her help. I'd, I'd rather pay her to do it than pay somebody else to do it, to help me. Because I, I just can't get everything done myself. So I love having my daughter help me polish my truck. Um, the truck looks so good now because I, I buff it. I, I have a the the soft polisher buffer really doesn't all that good and I don't need like a high speed buffer. I have in the middle and I'll show you guys that at home what I use. It's a it's a dual action uh, buffer and it's like the sander. It goes it goes uh, it goes dual action. So it goes around and then it goes up and down and side I think or maybe just side to side and then it goes around it's like a dual action so if you push too hard in one spot it it won't it won't just keep digging it uh, it it spins it around and then it, it's dual action it, it like it'll go it'll go in an oval or it'll go in an oval this way. Yeah, that's the way to explain it. It'll go in an oval this way, or it'll go in an oval this way. Maybe it'll even do it like that, and that too, like an X. I, I don't know. 
but it's 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 got more power but yet not enough to to really burn paint i mean i'm sure if you just laid right on it and and you know you could probably burn paint if you wanted to but but for stuff like this this truck um i probably won't i won't go over it with a clay bar or anything but i'll just take some really light compound and go over uh, pretty much anything I can reach as I'm as I'm standing. Maybe I'll get towards the top of the sleeper some where, where tree branches have hit and stuff and try to get those scratches out. But then I'm gonna polish the paint and then I put a couple of coats of wax over it so that, um, you know what, I didn't even realize, I don't know where the microphone is on this. I hope I don't, when I touch the bottom of the phone, I don't mess with the microphone. But anyway, all this stuff that I'm learning, most of these videos aren't for people to really watch, but just <laughs> just to uh, just to get me used to 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 uh, you know um, doing stuff. Oh, there's my minion. He keeps falling down from up there. And my fly swatter. You got to keep a fly swatter handy because you never know when them damn pesky little things are gonna be flying around here. So. You gotta have a fly sweater and back scratcher. I got my back scratcher right here. It's kind of sharp though. Sometimes I just usually the back part. Sometimes you gotta have back scratcher. Can't be driving down the road and 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 have that itch. You just can't get to. You got a back scratcher. So. Uh, forget where I was going with all that stuff. I got distracted by the, the, something I don't remember. But anyway, that's it. I'm going to go and, and put a, a Velcro on my um, mount over there so I can not keep losing my DVD player. Because then when my DVD player falls down, it unplugs my refrigerator unplugged refrigerator isn't a good thing when you got food in it especially when you're hungry thinking you're gonna go back there and get something good to eat and the refrigerator's turned off so <laughs> all right well that's it i promise to have better stuff coming to the channel here pretty soon i plan on making the investment in the time and the money to um get some uh editing software and and uh and, uh, and a better camera, just using my phone and my tablet don't always work. Oh, speaking of, I'm on my phone. I gotta go, because if it calls, then if I get a call, then it turns off my, my, my phone and I lose track of where I was. So, gotta go. Bye. I still gotta think of that catchphrase. But, bye. <laughs>